I can no longer give the same kind of impassioned impromptu speeches during debates on the floor or in committee hearings. This very impressive AI recreation of my voice does the public speaking for me now. Congress made in history with artificial intelligence. Hey, on World Parkinson's Day, I'm here to tell you that I've come to learn this firsthand. And that's because I've learned that I too have Parkinson's or what some people call PD for short. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. And, and I, I was big secret of the fact that I am the last question of the day, so I'll try to move it along as best I can. Also, I want to tell you, I kind of like having my own little table down here. It's nice to be all alone down here and just have a little room to spread out. It's very nice, so I don't mind. Last year, I was diagnosed with progressive supranuclear palsy, or PSP. PSP makes it very difficult for me to speak, and I use an assistive app so that you and our colleagues can understand me. As you may know, last year I was diagnosed with progressive supranuclear palsy, or PSP. It's basically Parkinson's on steroids, and I don't recommend it. It's affected my ability to speak, so I'm using a text-to-speech app to make it easier for you and our colleagues to hear and understand me. Over the past year, the fight for disability rights has become a personal one. My battle with progressive supranuclear palsy, or PSP, has robbed me of my ability to use my full voice and move around in the ways that I used to. Rather than striding confidently onto the House floor to vote, I gratefully accept rides across Independence Avenue, and yes, I get the irony, from my office to the Capitol. I rely on a walker to get around, and in all likelihood, before my term ends, I will appear on the House floor for votes in a wheelchair. I hope I can be a voice, even an AI voice, for Americans facing accessibility challenges and other disabilities, because too often people only see us for that disability. Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton uses artificial intelligence to speak in Congress. In the latest episode of C-SPAN's podcast, The Weekly, find C-SPAN's The Weekly wherever you get podcasts. The Weekly! But I do hope that when people see me continuing to do all I can to keep living my life and doing this job I love as best I can, they understand and appreciate the courage, resilience, and spirit that so many Americans of differing abilities demonstrate each and every day.